Big Young was a well-liked, well-respected actor. He earned fame and an Oscar playing supporting roles, the nice guy who doesn't get the girl. But his real life was anything but a happy ending story. His friends and family believe his problems came from his love affair with the bottle. The life and tragic death of Big Young on our inside story today. You know, I have a hangover like referring to the Johnstown flight of the slight drizzle. Acting hungover was not a big stretch for Gig Young. Throughout the actor's 37-year career, he struggled with a real-life alcohol problem. He also struggled with marital problems. One wife died. Three marriages ended in divorce. Then on October 19, 1978, just three weeks after marrying his fifth wife, the 64-year-old actor murdered her and then committed suicide. Shirley Jones was a friend who worked with Gig in the film A Ticklish Affair. He was very insecure about a lot of things. Consequently, he, he overdid everything. He overdrank, you know, he, he overplayed, he overdid all of that. Gig was a capable and versatile actor, working in television, on stage, and in film. He won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar in 1969 for They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Eleven years earlier, Gig had been nominated for his work in Teacher's Pet, starring Clark Gable and Doris Day. I can drink any amount at all, and it doesn't bother me a bit. But off-screen, Gig often drank to excess. Entertainment Tonight has obtained an exclusive look at Final Gig, an upcoming book that reveals how drinking helped to destroy his life, including his third marriage to actress Elizabeth Montgomery and fourth marriage to real estate agent Elaine Young. My life was a nightmare. It's everything you've ever seen on television or movies about the days of wine and roses, as far as mental abuse, physical abuse. Married in 1963, in the beginning, Gig, Elaine, and their daughter Jennifer were happy. Gig had stopped drinking. But after one year of sobriety, he started drinking again. The marriage quickly soured, and after a little more than three years, the couple divorced. Gig refused to see Jennifer, who's now 26. He figured the best way to get to her was to never see me. And unfortunately, I suffered for it. Six years after the divorce, Elaine went to court attempting to get more child support. Gig responded by filing a non-paternity suit, claiming Jennifer was not his daughter, and revealing he'd had a vasectomy when he was 20. But Gig's friend and former press agent Jay Bernstein thinks Gig never doubted he was Jennifer's father. He wanted to get out of paying the money for 21 years. He never said to me, Jennifer's not my daughter. Gig eventually lost the suit. He never saw Jennifer again. Ten years after he divorced Elaine, Gig married his fifth wife, Kim. But he quickly regretted it, according to the author of Final Gig, George Eels. There were quarrels that had to do with money, sex, all the classic things. And then for it to fall apart so quickly, I think must have been devastating. Just three weeks after they married, both were dead. An autopsy showed he'd not been drinking, but many believe the years of boozing took their toll and contributed to the tragedy. I was shocked because this was not the gig young I knew that was fun-loving, adorable, and charming. But I also know what alcoholism can do to people and how it can take you to beyond extents beyond belief. The book, Final Gig, will be out in June. Elaine Young says she wishes the book had not been written. She says she wanted the stories of Gig's problems buried with him. But now she thinks she'll write her own version of this story.